Welcome back. Uh, now we're going to, we've, uh, on this motor here, we've changed the engine oil, we've changed our fuel filter. Uh, it's here for a, a full service, it's annual service. Uh, next on our uh, list, we're going to, uh, we're going to remove the lower unit to inspect the water pump impeller and change your gear loop and grease your drive shaft splines. We're also going to inspect the, uh, the drive shaft bushing if this motor has one. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's remove the lower unit. Trim the motor up. Lower unit can be removed in neutral. Unlike the, uh, the Mercury's or Stern drives that like to be in forward, uh, Yamaha outboard, you can uh, remove the lower unit with the control in neutral. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, let's uh, just adjust our camera a little bit here. There we go. Um, I like to remove the propeller first, get it out of my way. We'll remove the anode to get the bolt underneath it. Part of the annual service is to grease the drive shafts or the prop shaft splines, so the propeller has to come off anyway. So we'll get our cotter pin out of here. When we put this back together, I'll uh, go through the procedure of uh, the thrust washers and everything. Some people uh, have some trouble with which way the thrust washers go, so we'll, uh, we'll talk about that when, I put them, when I'm putting them back together. Right now, we're just taking the lower unit off. Um, one thing I like to check, let's just drag this over, uh, have a look at our uh, the seal surface, there's a, a seal in there that keeps the water out of the lower unit. I like to check that, make sure that there's no uh, fishing line wrapped around it. There's not a huge amount of corrosion around the housing. Sometimes we'll get a lot of corrosion there and uh, that'll cause a leak around that seal. Now's the time to be checking all that so that we can fix it all uh, for the customer if it needs to be done. But this one all looks pretty good, truth be told. We do a lot of Yamahas here, and uh, I have only ever found water in the lower unit of one Yamaha, and uh, that it had a pretty serious impact that it actually cracked it. So they're very reliable lower units. The seals work great. I'm going to take the uh, trim tab anode off. Get it out of my way. This is where a lot of people will get stuck underneath the, the anode. There is, let's see if we can get in there. There is a bolt there, whoops, where is it? Zoom up, there. Just up in there is a, uh, there's another bolt that holds your lower unit on, so I'm gonna get that out. That's why we took the, the anode off. I saw a picture on Facebook the other day of the back end broken right out. Somebody had to try to actually got their lower unit off without removing that bolt. But broke the whole housing in, in doing so. Okay, and then the other thing that catches a few people is just up under here. I'll zoom right down here, see if we can get it. This tube here, that's for your pitot tube for a speedometer. Um, we need to disconnect that. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a couple of uh, cable ties that hold it in position. There's a little connector right here. Sometimes the connector is inside the housing. You can't see it until you start to separate it. This one's above, so that's nice and easy.
Don't forget to hook that back up again. We don't have water spraying up out of this tube here. And then four bolts, two on this side, two on the other side. Take them off. Servicing your lower unit, changing your gear oil, gear oil, water pump impeller, grease your drive shaft splines, grease your propeller, propeller shaft splines. Should be done every year. Um, we do this every year for all of our customers' boats. It's uh, recommended. It's in the in the serv or in the owner's manual if you read the manual. Um, there's a few things that go on. One, these bolts that I'm taking out here, you don't grease them once a year. If it's in a saltwater boat, they'll corrode right in there and uh, makes it very hard to get them out. Um, water pump impeller, if you uh, run through sand or uh, stuff like that, uh, you can wear it out in a season. If you put a lot of hours on it, you can wear it out in a season. Generally, we replace them every two years. Um, but uh, we inspect them every year. This one's 18 months since I saw it last because we just put this motor on for the customer halfway through last summer. It's still the middle of winter here right now. It's February. Um, so he didn't really get a service at the end of last season because it was such a short season for him. So this has got 18 months on it. His water pump impeller is probably going to be okay, but we're going to inspect it just in case. Um, we don't have a lot of sand in the water around here, but if you're running your boat in near sandy beaches and stuff like that, and uh, you get a lot of sand and stuff up through your water pump impeller, and that will, uh, that'll wear it out pretty quick. Um, you want to make sure you haven't swallowed anything up or that it's not breaking or anything as well. So. Again, once a year, check your water pump impeller and uh, take care of all of this service. So now, I've got my bolts out and it's just a matter of just gently wiggling it out. Don't let it hang on your drive shaft. This is your drive shaft here. Don't let it hang on that. You don't want to bend it. And there we go. So this here, let me just come right up close to the camera here. Those are our drive shaft splines. You'll hear me talk about them quite often. They need to be greased once a year. Uh, newer outboards are a whole lot better than the old ones that had a real coarse spline. Uh, the, the coarse splines used to wear really badly. The newer ones don't wear as, as bad, but there have been cases, and I've had them myself, where they, because they work in the bottom of the crankshaft there, you can't get it out at the, uh, if you don't grease it regularly, five years. Um, and I've seen a lot of guys go five years without servicing their outboards. Uh, there's so much corrosion and, uh, and damage up there that they literally weld themselves together just from working together. And you can't get it out. So now you can't change your water pump impeller and uh, service the, the, uh, the motor properly. It'll overheat on you one day and then it'll be junk. So, uh, once a year, take it off, grease your drive shaft splines, and then uh, water pump impeller here. Uh, I'm going to take this over to the stand and I'll move the camera and we'll, uh, we'll open that up.